doing another post here about Mayor Deborah Frank Finan. Uh, before I start, I want to make a couple of recommendations. You can't see the total browser here. Consider downloading the Brave browser. This is not a promotion. They don't pay anyone as far as I know. It has built-in ad blocking and tracker blocking. If you uh, care about privacy, uh, you, then you can add on top of that extensions such as uBlock to block uh, additional trackers that might be tracking you. I've used uh, Brave for a while. Brave is a Chromium browser that's open source. It's 100% open source and it has all the Google hooks removed. So anyway, on to this. Um, this lady is, is a sociopathic control freak. A sociopath is a psychopath. Sociopaths and psychopaths don't care about you. They think they know what's best. They have no empathy. They don't experience feelings uh, except for feelings they get from uh, ex uh, physical stimulus such as drugs or other things to keep this family friendly. Uh, this mayor here, uh, this is from the conservative firing firing engine. And if, if you go to DuckDuckGo, which is what I've used since 2010, I think, um, it's it works as good as Google, DuckDuckGo is a privacy centric search engine, although they are tweaking their algorithms to exclude some types of search results, which I'm not crazy about, but still better than Google. Look at what this lady's doing. Violating parts of the open act. It is Illinois law. She's now banned the sale of alcohol, uh, closed bars, taverns, and liquor stores, banned sale or giving away of gasoline, or other liquid flammable combustible products. If you live in Champaign, either load up on this stuff or get out of town. Because if you're low on gasoline and you want to get out of town, it sounds like they're trying to keep you in town. This is what dictators do. This is what psychopaths do when they lock you in their basement and want to uh, study you. That's what psychopaths do. Serial murderers are all psychopaths. They are. What they do when they murder serially is they study their victim. They want to see how they react because they can't experience feelings. They don't know what it's like to have fear, sadness, happiness. They know none of these things. They grow up thinking that all the people around them are faking this and acting because they themselves don't experience. And then they realize, wait, these people are experiencing something that I don't experience. So I want to observe. I want to watch. Of course, as I mentioned before, direct the pa the shutoff of utilities. She is uh, reserving the authority to take possession of private property and to prohibit the incoming, that's what ingress means, and egress leaving of the city of Champaign. Champaign is not a big city. It's on the border of... Illinois and uh, Indiana. If you're if you're in Indianapolis, you, I'm sure you know where Champaign is. I guess it's about 60 to 80 miles. It's right on. It's on the line of Illinois and Indiana. It's due west of Indianapolis. So if you know where Indianapolis is, you go due west about 80 miles, and you're in Champaign. Uh, matter of fact, they call it Champaign Urbana because on the Indiana side, I believe it's called in Urbana. I lived in Indianapolis many, many years ago. I, I would encourage folks who see this video, give a call to the city council and ask them what's going on here. Why are they letting this lady uh, assume these authorities, whether she acts on them or not? The way that you can defeat the coronavirus is with liberty, not control. Take, for example, Taiwan. Taiwan took a completely different approach no restrictions at all. Taiwan, I think in the whole country of Taiwan, and yes, it is a country, the whole country of Taiwan, they have like 60 infections. There is one death, but their approach was to take what China's doing and do the opposite. Openness, communication, freedom of travel, liberty. Give instructions, sure. Tell people this is what we think will help. Give instructions. Uh, wash your hands, keep your distance from people. But they had no mass closing of stores. They had no travel bans in Taiwan. And yet, right next to China, which lots of people from China come into 
Taiwan, especially during the uh, Spring Festival, which is Chinese New Year. Taiwan has no issues. One person dead. I guarantee you more people have died from cancer since this has started than the coronavirus. Likewise, ask yourself this. How many people do you know have coronavirus? How many people do you know have died of coronavirus? How many people do you know have cancer? Do you know anyone who's had cancer? Do you know anyone who's died of cancer? I think it just realize if you consider these questions, you, you'll realize that you probably know more people who've died of cancer than have died of coronavirus. Now, there's a, I'll, I'll tell you, I think there's a couple sides of the fence on this uh, where uh, I believe this is an infectious disease, but because it's new, yeah, it's going to spread. But if we were to count every time someone died, if we had that corona tracking map, if you look at this map here for the coronavirus, it's eight deaths in Guangdong. Guangdong is not far. From, and I, I mentioned before Chongqing. I don't know if Chongqing's in the list here. Chongqing is the largest city in the world. Six deaths, 13 million people live there. If you were to compare this to the infection rate of the flu, let's say we had a map like this that tracked the flu. I think the same response could occur, which is people freak out because if deaths resulting from the flu in the United States, someone dies every 17 minutes on average, that is over a period of a year, every 17 minutes someone dies of the flu or complications as a result from the flu. It's actually probably higher. So let's say every 12 minutes. Someone dies every 15 minutes from a car wreck. Someone dies every 11 minutes from cancer. Okay? So uh, all these channels as well that really annoy me where people are saying, don't panic. You know what? No one's panicking. Yeah, people are going to the store and buying toilet paper. So what? It'll level out in a week or so. The, the only panic that's occurring is with politicians who are freaking out so they either get the control they want or don't lose the control that they have. That's the only panic that's going on. Same with Trump. I think he's, quote, panicking because he doesn't want to lose an election. 